Hi YouTube world, it's Adrienne. Um, I just wanted to jump on because I'm so excited. Um, although I'm confused, but excited, but confused. I didn't intend to sign up for BoxyCharm, but I did, and then I canceled my membership. But they still sent me my first, and I guess only, BoxyCharm box. And I just got the, the basic box so it's this one here and I thought well since I didn't mean to really kind of sign up for the service but I did and now I have the items I thought well why not let me unbox it um it's sort of fun that way um and maybe I'll tell you the story of why 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 I spent my precious budget on boxy charm when I really didn't want to. So this just came right now. I just woke up from a nap. I'm all groggy. I have like lip gloss on but like no makeup on. My hair's a mess. I don't I don't know. So I've never opened one of these. I'm very excited to try. I'm, I'm not going to read the card but this is the card that comes in the box. I'm sure you all have seen this before. Um, so let's see what came my way. A deep exfoliating blackhead scrub from Tula. Oh, I don't really, well, no, I actually do have blackheads. So this says it's purifying. Um, it's powered by pink salt, volcanic sand, witch hazel to deeply exfoliate, purify pores to minimize the look. Blackheads, lactic acid, and gentle hibiscus flower polish. Flower polish pores, probiotics, raspberry leaf, and pomegranate reveals smoother skin. This is it here. That's pretty nice, actually. It's a full size. Um, I feel like this is something I would I would use. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it and give it a shot. I hear really good things about the brand Tula. I've just never used anything from them. Um, so excited to try that. So the fun, the story really goes, it's a really fast story, but I'm part of a Facebook group of makeup fanatics and someone posted that at the, on the BoxyCharm um, kind of shop online that I guess you're able, you have access to when you're a BoxyCharm subscriber. They had put the five pan large size palettes of Natasha Denona for something crazy like $12. And I wanted, I wanted to see what was still available. And when you go to the site, it looked like if you're not a member, it looks like all color, all of the color combinations were available. But when you actually went through the effort of subscribing, you realized every single one had sold out but one. And so in order for me to access the site, you know, so I, I signed up for the site thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna be able to buy these Natasha Denona palettes, which I've wanted forever. I've wanted always a few color combinations. These are the original, original. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab an example of a size example. Now this was this one here, these like oversized ones as in, in comparison to like the minis. Um, she had a collection of these that are just named numbers and they're different color combinations. Actually, Boxy Charm, this was like a Boxy Charm exclusive that I bought off of someone at Poshmark who didn't want want theirs um and so anywho i i thought oh wow this is such a steal i'm gonna sign up because they're all available and i'll be able to get like the three that i've always wanted and usually they're like almost fifty dollars each and sure enough i sign up and it's a lie their site it just it's actually that it's sold out and there was just this one color combination left and i realized it's just a way for them to lure people and they don't tell you 
what's been sold out, what isn't. They make it look as though everything's available. So I was pretty upset. And then I canceled my boxy <laughs> charm subscription immediately, but it doesn't matter. Even if you do it five minutes later, you still get your first box. So that's how I got this box. Long story short. So yeah, uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. I wish I could have canceled it. I think you should at least have a five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute leeway to cancel a box, especially if it doesn't ship immediately. But that's just me. Um, so the next item that I received is the N New York, or no, NCLA. I don't know what this is. It's so rich. Uh, is there a description card? There's, it has all these little glitters in it. And because it does, I can't really tell what it is. So rich vitamin E cuticle oil. Okay. So this is useful, except I have so many cuticle oils. If this smells amazing, I would probably keep it. Oh, well, that's different. It smells like roses. I don't have a cuticle oil that smells like roses. And it's a soft rose smell. If you like like a natural smelling rose smell, that's that's what this is. I don't understand why we have so much glitter and like confetti in it, but it sort of to me kind of cheapens the product. This feels very like um, Claire's Beauty Supply. I wouldn't pay anything over like three bucks for it, but if I close my eyes and smell it, it smells like a very luxurious product that I would pay a lot of money for. So, mm -hmm. um, and that is actually $18. They say limited edition Valentine's Day cuticle oil, cult favorite, so rich formula um, with safflo safflower o uh, seed oil and vitamin E to hydrate and nourish your cuticles. You know what? Maybe I'll keep it around. I have three cuticle oils though, and there's only so much cuticle oils you need, but I do like the scent of rose. I think it's very nice, so we'll give it a shot. Oh, I see something that's interesting. So this is a palette from Ace Beauté. It's called the Nostalgia Palette. It's really pretty packaging. I've heard such um, mixed reviews about Ace Beauté, like their, um, their palettes. Some people say they're great. I love some of their color schemes. Like I've, I've, I've definitely almost purchased from um, Poshmark, especially um, like a palette because you know people often sell their boxy. Wow, holy cow, that is crazy. So this is this. Jeez, that's really, really vibrant. Do I have anything remotely close to this? I really like this color here is like pretty unique. This is real vibrant. Um, I love having yellows in my collection, and depending on how they perform. And this one too is like a real vibrant color. These I'm, I'm more like familiar with, like in terms of like having them in my collection. Wow, this is really nice. Wait, this whole thing costs twenty five dollars. <laughs> That's really good. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get into a subscription, and I, I, but if if you don't have a, like a collection or like a mass preference on things, and you just want like some good variety, um, yeah, this is interesting. Holy cow! This is nuts. They sent a huge bottle of Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. Wow, this is nuts. What? Murad is really, it's pretty intense actually as like a, as like a, a, a skincare usually, but this is nuts. I'm pretty impressed with this too. I don't know that I would keep this though, um, but it's pretty exciting to receive. I may I may list this on Poshmark just because I have too many cleansers that I I already have, and now going through Project Pan, I just realized I have a lot 
in my arsenal and I don't necessarily uh, find it useful or necessary. I don't necessarily find it necessary. I don't really like incorporating AHAs and BHAs into my cleansing step. I much prefer having control of those items, those exfoliants, and putting them in my serum or a night treatment that I can control. I don't, I don't need to cleanse with that. Um, I feel like my skin, then it's just stripped too much, if, if that makes sense. Um, oh, okay, here's a little, oh, this is, this is a little like pouch. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out. It says Glamier, 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 Glamier. What is this? This is a pink glitter brush collection. Glittery, enchanting, and fun. This set features four essential eye brushes. Oh, well, who doesn't need eye brushes? I love having eye brushes. I love having synthetic eye brushes. Um, you need them. Oh, this is cute. So this is, and they also have like these glitter hearts, but you want to know what's interesting. This sort of looks, oh, the brushes feel very soft. This kind of reminds me of the, oh, I'm grabbing it. The It Cosmetics, the, the heart uh, brush. Whoa, this is dingy. I got to clean this. It also has little glitters. It's almost like I made a little set without even knowing it. Hey, that's cute. No, is $29.95 and it's considered a new launch. That's nice. Well, I can say they feel very, very soft. So that's exciting. Um, and I even like the little pouch. I hope other brushes can fit in there too. Cause for travel, even just to have it in your bag, it's nice to have a separate pouch. Hmm. This whole, do you see what's happening in my mind? Like my wheels are turning and I'm like, maybe I should subscribe to BoxyCharm, but no, I'm not going to. Um, the last thing in the box is from Wander Beauty, which I have only ever tried one Wander Beauty product. No, two actually. The under eye bags, and then I used to have this double-ended cheek and highlight kind of duo, um, which I liked, which I thought was quite good, but I've never tried anything else. This one is the Double Date Lip and Cheek. Get ready to take your lips and cheeks on a double date. This lightweight duo pairs a sheer tint with a universal balm that can be used alone or layered on lips and cheeks. The sheer tint blends effortlessly onto the skin while the clear shimmer-free balm provides comfort, hydration, and glow. Whoa, this is beautiful packaging. Holy shoot. Look at this. This is gorgeous packaging so you have the balm on the top like the colored balm which is this really soft peach coral and then and then the bottom and it has a mirror wait this is nice this feels like this kind of like acrylic and it's like a pale sort of peach acrylic it's not clear clear it is really feels substantial. Like the Kaja ones are nice, but they feel kind of cutesy and plasticky. This is like the stackables, but they it feels really, really substantial. And it reminds me so much of like the, the buxom component. Yeah, look at that. Just the, and I love, I love this. I love, this um, also Clinique, the little, here, like the little flower ones. I love that too. I love being able to see the product. It just makes life easier when you have a lot of product. Hey, but this is really nice. And I'm sort of like wearing a peach lip. Shall we try this? Wait, so am I allowed to use this? This says, take your lips on a double date. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hello. That's really emollient it's not that sheer oh no that's not sheer i mean it's sheer but it's not like sheer sheer oh wait a second this might have been the price this price might have just that's it 
Had I seen this product live and been able to touch it and seen it, just seen the packaging, I would have paid $22 for this product for sure. Oh, that's pretty. What's nice is it's buildable and it doesn't feel like greasy, greasy. It feels like it's, it's really blending nicely. And I like that I can use my fingers, though I probably will also try it with a the stippling brush. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. I have lip balm on, like a, I have a corally lip, my Revlon right now. I don't want to wipe it away and like use, but I am so excited about that. Wait, this was a good box. Is this how they always are? I don't know. Hmm. Questions, questions. <laughs> <laughs> decisions decisions well I hope you found this entertaining I sure as heck did I'm really super excited um yeah so to recap I'm definitely definitely keeping the wonder beauty I'm definitely keeping the um eye brush set and the Tula the Tula item uh skincare because I feel like I'll use that why not keep this? I like the scent a lot. And if it's a good oil, you know, more power, more power to me. Um, the Murad, I'm definitely going to sell. I just, I'm not going to, I'm going to use it. And I'm just on the fence. I don't want to even touch the Ace Beauty palette because I want to make sure I, it has a place in, in all of my palettes. Um, I'm trying not to get palettes unless I'm 100% sure I'm going to use them. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm doing kind of like a palette declutter throughout the year. So I'm just a little nervous and in, in looking at it, I don't know that I necessarily need these colors because they're just, they're a little too vibrant for me and I feel like like even just looking at this is just my singles that of color pop that I keep on my desk to use like there's already quite a lot of orange and yellow in there um and I do know that I also have just I just have a lot I have a lot and I have a lot of beautiful beautiful things and I definitely want to use them so maybe the Ace Beauté will also be on sale on Poshmark Maybe, maybe. I, I want to, I, I think I'm going to check out a few reviews and see how it performs before I, I touch it. I think that's probably a good com compromise. It still is an astounding value, an astounding value. I don't know how anyone makes money in this. I, I, am, is it just me or I'm, I'm one of those people who I get very paranoid when things sound too good to be true and that I'm paying $25 for products that, like the face cleanser alone, I think I think probably surpasses those, you know, $42 easily. I don't know. It That makes me a little nervous. I, I, I will be honest with you. I am somebody who believes like it's, a, things have a fundamental value and, and you know, people, it took someone something to put this together in a box. It took another person something to piece together this item to make this palette wherever the heck it's made. And I get concerned with like fair wages and um, and yeah, the low man on the totem pole. How much are they getting? You know, I don't know. But that's my cynical self. So sorry about that. Didn't mean to be a downer. Enjoy your boxy charm if that's your thing. Um, but it, this was very exciting. This was a fortuitous um, snafu boo boo in my life, and I hope that you enjoyed the unboxing. If let me know what you got. If if you're if you're kind of and and what are your favorite things? And do you think overall it's like worthwhile to do boxy charm? Um, is it better to do like the more expensive one? I don't know. I felt like for $25, this is pretty generous. I mean, it's amazingly generous, not pretty generous. 
So anywho, uh, hope everyone has a great night and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye everyone. Future me, I just wanted to let you know, I applied the lip balm from the Wander Beauty as well as the lip color side, um, which I had put on my cheeks. And I, I really, really love the lip balm. The balm I also put as a highlighter, which you can see like gives such a nice glossy glow. It's not like super thick. It's going to remain tacky, but it's not like gloopy, glittery, you know, thick. Um, and so I think it works really nicely if you like that kind of look. And on the lip, the lip color, I think it looks really pretty. Um, I'm just not really really comfortable with this light of a lip it's a little bit white based for me i would probably wear a lip liner or just even go a little lighter but i put it on full on just to see what it can look like and it's it's pretty it's pretty but um yeah i'm the lip balm feels incredible on the lips really really nourishing i'm so excited about this product though really really excited and i just love the packaging and everything so anywho just wanted to jump in there. I mentioned that. Okay, now for real. Goodbye. <laughs>